Hi everyone, it's Vanessa. I'm here today to share with you my top 10 favorite graphic novels, memoirs, and nonfiction works that I read in 2020. I read almost 50 books in a graphic novel format and these are my top 10 as well as a few honorable mentions. My honorable mentions are number one, Secret Coders by Jean Luang Yang and Mike Holmes. Definitely a series that I want to continue reading and I'm reading it with my graphic novel book club. Another one that's an honorable mention is They Called Us Enemy by George Takei. I thought that it was a little bit more informative than like personal Personal, but I thought that it was well done and worth your time for sure. And finally, When Stars Are Scattered by Victoria Jameson and Omar Mohammed. This is a book that focuses on Omar Mohammed's time in a refugee camp with his brother who has special needs. They finally win the lottery and what that process is like before they end up in the United States. So let's start with my list. Book number 10 is Go With The Flow. This is a book about period equality and it focuses on a group of four girls in school as they each have a different experience with their period. I just thought that the friendship dynamic in it was really well done but also that shows you the power of standing up for something that you believe in and using your voice and I really really enjoyed the artwork as well. Number nine I'm kind of combining two books that I read by the same author and in the same universe and that is New Kid and Class Act by Jerry Craft. These two are books that look into the main characters we're following, Jordan in the first book and Drew in the second book and the classmates that they encounter at their school that is predominantly white. It's also about the experience of how teachers talk about them to their face and behind their back and just the challenges and perseverance of kids of color in schools that are predominantly white. What I love most about this book though is all of the easter eggs that are in the backgrounds and that adds another level to it because you can tell that J.R. Craft is very involved in the graphic novel sphere and a lot of pop culture elements as well he includes in his graphic novels. I also think that his books are really humorous just the way that that they are witnessing these events and how the main characters reply to them in a sarcastic manner it always makes me laugh. Book number eight on my list is Arab of the Future by Riyad Satouf. I definitely have to get to the other ones. What I most valued about this is the depiction that the author illustrator has about his father. It comes across to the reader as that this person is a bit much and a bit pompous. I also really enjoyed just seeing the experience of Satouf as he is growing up in lots of different places and moving back and forth. Definitely a book that is dark but a book that I really enjoyed because of that dark humor. Book number seven on my list is Grass by Kim Sook Jendry Kim. This is a book that looks into comfort women during World War II and what they were made to do for Japanese soldiers, looking into the comfort women that are still alive today and their hope to um, bring justice to what happened to them. They just want the Japanese government to say that we did something wrong. This book really taught me a lot about you know something that I had no idea about and it made me google so much and to learn more about these women they literally live in the museum about their experience so that people can come and see this is a harrowing account of uh, sexual trauma and abuse and rape and definitely is a book that is not you know easy to read but it's a book that the way that it is drawn it doesn't focus on the trauma in the illustrations it focuses on pastoral scenes whenever it talks about really heavy subjects and I think that shows the expanse of this world that they were in they couldn't escape everything that was around them was just like land they couldn't go anywhere I am astounded that things like this happen. I think that this is a learning experience for everyone. If you don't know anything about this, this is definitely a great way to start to get to know what these women went through. Book number six on my list is Snapdragon by Kat Lay. This is a magical but at the same time grounded in real life graphic novel about a girl who's really interested in things that people in her town are necessarily interested in like taxidermy and animals that are dying. She meets a witch in her neighborhood and starts learning how to take care of these dying animals and what to do with their bodies after the fact um, to honor them and still be able to use them. It uses that experience to teach you about this witch that is kind of an outcast and a loner to show you the history of that person and how both of these families are connected through history. I thought this was a really imaginative graphic novel, one that made me smile reading it just because of the whimsy and the characters and how they bond and grow through the graphic novel. I especially just loved the bond between the two main characters and what this book has to say about gender and what has been acceptable over time. I really really did enjoy this one and 
thought that it was refreshing and something unlike anything that I've ever read in a graphic novel before. Book number five on my list is the series Heartstopper. I only read volume one this past year and I have volume two on my person now. This is by Alice Osman, of course, and it's a book about two teen boys that are in high school and they're kind of polar opposites they're not very similar how they start forming a bond with each other that turns romantic it's a really light-hearted and sweet story when i was reading this i was just smiling the whole time and the doodly art also is really sweet and darling i would definitely recommend this book to anyone who wants a pick-me-up for sure book number four on my list is dancing at the pity party by tyler fader this is a graphic memoir that looks into how the author and illustrator dealt with her mother's death from cancer her. it's a really sweet ode to her mother's life you know all of the things that her mother stood for all of the things that the, her mother should be remembered for i think for this book too there has been enough time that has passed she has a clear sense of how her grief is going how she feels about it now i also really enjoyed in this book all of the depictions about jewish customs when it comes to funeral rites what that process is like i really had no idea anything about how um people who practice judaism do any of that it was really educational in that sense i also really enjoyed the art in this one there's a lot of really pretty palettes lots of pinks and purples which i love and find darling it's a book that definitely made me get teary-eyed and it's sad but also just really lovely book number three on my list is actually a collection of volumes of the same series and that is fence i read volumes two three and four in 2020 and loved every second of it i am so excited about anything fence related the author is great at dialogue at banter and showing how these boys can form bonds and friendships but also in flirtiness i just think that the way it comes across feels really genuine and effortless i also really love the illustrations there's aspects when some of the faces are closer to the panel and they just look a little bit more kawaii and more anime-esque i definitely recommend if you're looking for great banter a great friendship and great tension between two characters who are flirting sometimes and hate each other at other times book number two on my list is dragon hoops by Jean Luang Yang. This is a fantastic, ginormous graphic nonfiction work where Jin Luang Yang followed a high school team at the school that he used to teach at as this group of boys tried to make a run to win the state championship for basketball for the state of California. It's a dense but very well done look at these boys and how they see each other, how they ended up at this school. A lot of them don't have a background in Catholicism, um, so it's interesting to learn like how they ended up at the the school it's also an interesting look at basketball history how over time basketball has developed it's a great look at a lot of the things that may become obstacles as you're trying to win a championship and it also has meta aspects where Jin Luang Yang looks at himself writing this book and thinks about his career and what it is that he wants to do as a next step I definitely recommend anything by Jin Luang Yang I think he's one of my favorite illustrators right now and graphic novelists he writes well he draws well and and you can tell there's a true sense that he puts a lot of time and effort into his creations and his books and I really value that from his books. Book number one on my list is Kent State by Durf Backdurf. As you can tell, looks into the deaths of four students at Kent State in Ohio by the National Guard during the 70s as a result of tensions between the students on campus and the political infrastructure of Kent State at that time. So the city police, the president of the university, the National Guard, and in general, just what was happening politically with the Vietnam War at the time. This looks at the four students, their lives, what they're thinking, and how they're each approaching the protests that are happening in the days leading up to the shooting derf you can tell did so much historical research into what it is that happened he also is forthcoming about wanting this to be a story about what is the truth i really really love that that he would say like this is what this politician said and actually it's untrue because of this even when things were a little bit muddled he states that like we don't know for sure what happened here because there's two conflicting ideas about what happened and to me it's amazing that something like this happened um and something that i think 
could still happen so i think it's definitely important to learn about like all of the things that led up to the situation i learned so much reading this book and it sent me on spirals of doing a lot of internet research the way it depicts for example richard nixon i also found really fascinating i just think this book is damning and sharp and critical exactly where it needs to be definitely would recommend this this is another denser one like dragon hoops but one that i thought was really magnificent and well done. That is it for my top 10 favorite graphic novels and comics of 2020. If you read any of these or would like to read any of these now that I've talked about them, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!